Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to share with you some tips and tricks on handling the iSIM simulator that is associated with the Xilinx software. Apart from iSIM, there is another type of simulator that can be used alongside uh, Xilinx, which is called the Model Sim Simulator. Sometimes, when you open the Xilinx software for the first time, the default simulator might be the model sim, which is indicated by this M logo that I have here. But it is not a big problem because we can always change the simulator by double clicking on this text, which is the code for the processor. And scroll, sorry, scroll down, go to simulator and change the simulator setting as the iSIM and click OK. All right, for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to use this 4-bit ripple carry adder module in which I've composed its corresponding test fixture to generate the simulation results for this ripple carry adder. Those who would like to know the detail of this ripple carry adder module design, you can watch my ripple carry adder video that can be found in my channel. By the way, in this example, I did some modification by neglecting the first carry in or the rightmost carry in for the zeroth bit at the slice. Therefore, the inputs for this 4 bit ripple carry adder module are only A and B without C0 as can be seen here. Okay, um, to generate the stimulus for the simulation, I've generated all combinations between A and B. Um, in which they are integers listed from 0 to 15, since A and B are 4 bits. Now, assuming unsigned number are used, the largest possible value for either A or B is 15, of course. Now, let's launch the simulator right away, and let's explore its functionality. So that can be done by clicking exactly on the test fixture file. But before that, make sure you select the simulation, not the implementation. Double click, uh, sorry, click exactly on the test fixture file. First, you can double click on the behavioral check, but it is just optional. If you can't hundred percent confident that everything is okay, you can double click on simulate behavioral right away and it took a little bit of time to complete um, so it failed because I already opened that window so I rerun this again And it should complete the simulation shortly. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is the graph. Firstly, we have to check the final values in the timeline. Notice that the final addition or the final value for A is 1, 1, 0 equals to 6. And B is 1, 0, 0, which is 4. So it is not 15 plus 15 as we desired. This is because the simulation stopped at 1 microsecond or 1000 nanosecond, which is the default setting for the simulator. But if we check our test feature, this one, we need 2560 nanoseconds to complete the whole simulation because there are 
256 combinations between A and B in which each combination takes 10 nanosecond time duration as been specified in this code. So we have to change. So go back to the iSIM windows. We have to change the simulation time to 2.56 microseconds. That equals to 2560 nanoseconds. And click on this uh, run all button. Okay, here, in case you are having more than one tap, notice that the graph is provided on the first tap. In fact, um, uh, the second tap that consists of the code can be closed without any worry. Okay, now the final value. Let's check what is the final, final values carried by A and B. So now A equals to 1, 1, 1, 1, which, as well as B, which is 15 in decimal. Let's inspect the output. As we know, for um, a multi-bit adder, the final carry out, which is C4 in this case, um, is part of the answer. Is part of the answer. As the example, if we take this addition, 15 plus 15, the answer should be 30, which equals to 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 in binary. So it is nice if we can merge C4 with output S and making them as a single quantity. This can be done by selecting both lines, which can be done by clicking on them while holding the control key on your keyboard. Um, and then right click somewhere here and choose the new virtual bus. And you can rename uh, like answer okay and uh, you can find c4 and s by expanding this uh, new virtual bus by clicking on this drop down button okay and as for the final tips we can always change the appearance of the uh, number formats that we have in the simulations um, maybe we can click on this full view first, zoom to full view. And let's remove unrelated quantities like this eye. So select it and hit delete. And then let's zoom in a little bit to see the numbers. Okay. And you can play around with this, um, what do you call this, uh, scroll the right to the right and the to the left to check all the values. Um, so sometimes for convenience, we like to display the numbers in the decimal format. This can be done by highlighting those corresponding quantity. First, let's um, hide the details C4 and S. Now let's um, select all of the quantities including answer the, and the inputs and then we can change the number format by right clicking somewhere here and go to uh, sorry here radix and choose unsigned decimal now we can we can see that um, they have changed all the numbers have changed to decimal values. As an example, clearly we, we notice here, um, for example here, 14 plus 4 equals to 18. And maybe we can randomly select uh, some more combinations. So 15 plus 12 equals to 27. Um, and maybe one more. 
uh, let's search for a big a bigger number like this this one uh, 15 plus 13 equals to 28 so all the answer that we uh, generated all of them seems to be correct as we expected all right that's all for now thanks for watching